Runners are off and racing from the 1200 meter marker. Love Bomb one of the inside reacted swiftly. Dandola's over racing the first hundred meters, looking to be settled in. Putin's promise. Spider's corner just off the bridle and the yellow silks is dropping out of it early. Beechamwood boys in the maroon silks on the right hand side. Don Karari keeps him company. Go man go, super silver. Five lengths from first to last. Putin's promised the right hand side, but there goes Dandola to join issue. Beechamwood boy now goes towards the inside with Don Karari. Spider's corners come under a hefty ride. Go Man Go tries to quicken up. Beechamwood boy now tries to move into attack Dandola. Don Karari asks for maximum along the rail. 300 meters to go. Beechamwood boy and King of the Mellow come forward. Dandola the blue sleeves and cap asked to go with him. However, Beechamwood boy is now starting to extend the gallop the last 150. He's full of fire and steel and that's it. Climbing the ladder, Beechamwood boy cruised in. Dandola possibly second from Go Man Go. Love bomb behind these. Beechamwood boy catches the right wave home. So this horse, there you can see Keegan DeMello, winner number 201, looks over his left shoulder twice. No opposition in sight. Then takes a hold, a double hold. Absolutely blasts away from them. Well done to Wendy Whitehead, the Gibsons, Sharky Cinemas, Bruce LaRue Bread. He moved up on the inside confidently, but didn't expect him to win that easily. Coming to the last hundred, he just started to absolutely stamp his authority. Beechamwood boy comes home lonely. Dandola the blue sleeves and cap. You'd have seen Keegan de Mello was very confident. And at that stage, you'd think you're probably a length and a half, maybe two lengths. Now he says, come on boy, sharpen up. Let's go seal the deal with the genuine hat trick. And when he looks over his shoulder, he can't believe how far clear he is within two or three jumps. So he looks again. And that's it. History is over.